Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Baijiu's exam prep. My name is Alpa Sharma, and this is our daily editorial analysis. Am I clearly visible and audible to everyone? Good morning. Good morning, Saki, Preeti, Samarth, everyone. Good morning, Apinav in the app. Can you <coughs> hear and see me clearly, everyone? Last time, se pehle aage, yes. I was ready, so I thought maybe why not shoot it earlier than later, maybe. Good morning, everyone. All right, so. Aaj hai 3rd of February. Do articles lenge. Do no articles. Aaj the Hindu ke article. Ek di text or context se hai. Or ek normal editorial page se hai. So, aaj jo ek article lungi wo mere saaf se. It's a very important one. Kal bhi me same topic pe article lungi. Jo The Guardian me aaya hai. Because aaj ko a jo article hai. It's on climate change. From the Indian perspective. But then we also need to look at it from the world perspective. Okay. So, today we will take the same topic from the Indian perspective and Hindu. Se. And tomorrow we will take the same topic from the world perspective uh, from the Guardian. That's what we are going to do. Okay? So, that's what our agenda uh, is going to be. Yes, March. Yes. Okay. So, but before we start off with anything, let me take you through a few things. If you are targeting the crash course for CLAP 2022, a new batch, batch 3 has been launched where uh, you could enroll yourself at the earliest because your examination isn't really, really far away. It's still happening in the first weekend of uh, May. So, uh, and dates have not been changed yet. So, we'll stick to that. Jaldi se enroll karlo is crash course ke liye. Agar CLAC 23 target karo, that's going to happen in the month of December this year. Then I would expect you to enroll yourself for this batch as well at the earliest. Uh, I'll also be teaching English in this batch. So, do look no further. Jaldi se enroll karlo. And if you MHCT, ALAD, SLAD, BLAD, JAMIA, these law entrance examinations are targeted for this. We have launched a batch 2, which will separately prepare you in examinations ke liye because their pattern is a little different from the other examinations. You could enroll yourself for this at the earliest as well. Now, we have stalled some time for revision some time because classes are a little bit long. So, we will take up two articles, do a detailed discussion on them. And uh, I haven't made questions on them today because uh, I was preoccupied with some work. So I am going to take articles, but not questions. I might ask you some lines in between and ask you the inference. Uh, yes, I'll do that, Purva. I'll do that, okay? So, what is it? March, one more month, one and a half more month. Yes, the cautionary tale. Yes, exactly. Okay, so vocabulary is not a lot because both of the articles are very factual hai. and that's exactly why I have not questions nahi hai. because factual questions, you, I am sure you can answer them, right? you can refer back to the passage and be sure and there, there is very less of inference that can be done here, that's why I have not made questions and the vocabulary is also not too much, so we will try to cover them up quickly, in the end you are going to tell me the tone of the author, you could certainly write the summary of each article under my video in the comment section which I am going to check. And we'll look at today's Hindu and Indian Express and we'll see what are the important articles we need to read from both the newspapers today and what are the articles we can leave. So that's what we're going to do today. Any more questions, anyone? Uh, IPCC, God, I'll link the article. What's important actually? GKK perspective is very important or RCK perspective? Se bhi. Okay. Uh, uh, there's a separate class, Prince. So uh, Salik sir takes separate classes on... Uh, Current affairs every day on the same channel. Okay? They should. Bhavana, they should. Okay, they should. Certainly. As a Koibi state new that they're going to leave aside. Let's start with the vocabulary from today's articles. Okay. The first one is uh, alluding. So alluding is to hint at something. Indirectly mention something is alluding. She had a way of alluding to Jean but never saying her name. So indirectly calling her maybe and not saying her name. Indirectly hinting or uh, getting her attention is alluding here. So not saying it directly but indirectly hinting on something is alluding. Okay. All right. Ana chahiye muskan. Ana chahiye bache. All right. So the next word is dire. So we say dire need, dire circumstances, dire consequences. What are dire? Very serious that require urgent attention. 
is dire. So dire need, it's severely needed. Dire consequences, very severe consequences that require urgent attention is dire. Misuse of drugs can have dire consequences, very severe consequences of the misuse of drugs. That's dire. Okay. So grave can be dire? Yes. Absolutely, yes. Good morning, Gulshan. Shikshak ya shikshika? <laughs> it's shikshika. Okay. Severe glaring? Yes. Inandu? Yes. Correct. Yisare synonym hove hai iske. Very good. In dire need as well, we can say that. Partis, we've done this word multiple times in the past. And Hindu uses this word a lot of times. Specifically when there are political articles. So partisan is biased. Taking one side, favoring one party or one set of opinions is partisan. So taking side of one party can be partisan. You could link it to that. So partisan not necessarily is favoring one party. One side, biased or favoring a set of opinions is partisan. So partisans of the exiles towards, they actually took the side of the exiles towards that's a partisan point of view. Other end can, is a related word. Yes. Solemn for dire. Related, but it's not an exact synonym. Chauvinism, Anushka, is a synonym to a partisan for sure. Yes. Biased or uh, ally. Yes. Stereotypes, related word. Absolutely. Prejudiced for partisan. Yes. Yes. Prejudice as well. Partial as well. Correct. Absolutely correct. App me koi synonyms kyu nahi aare? Abhinav, Ragini, Bhumika, Hafiz, Ashita. Why no synonyms in the app? Okay. Let's move to the next word. Shore up. So shore up is to gather your support. Okay. To basically bulwark something from falling it down is shore up. So they shored up the roof wall. They supported it. They gathered support so that it doesn't fall down. That is shoring up. Okay, so um, bulwark, yes, that's a synonym to it. Hearsay nahi hoga. No, 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 no. Hearsay kisi ka bhi synonym nahi hoga. Okay, discrimination related hai. Partisan ka pesho related hai pesho. Okay, accumulate, collection, bolster, bulwark. Bulwark, bolster, bilkul synonym. Okay, accumulated collection are synonyms related words to it. To bolster, for sure, yes, yes. Supporter and follower for partisan, yes. So I am actually glad you were able to recall so many words. I remember we doing bolster for very, very long. We did it multiple times, bulwark as well. So I'm glad you were able to remember words from our Hindu classes. Genomes. Now you know what article I'm going to take from the text and context. So I'm going to talk about genes and this study and the study of genetic information, what is available to us of any organism is genome. So it provides all the information of organism required to function and about their genes. That is genomes. That study is called genomes. Side number one. Jaldi say screenshot Lilo. Yes, support, bulwark, bolster, Isaacra. Corroborate, yes. Strengthen, yes. Very good. Uh, Prince, I will answer your question. Okay? Okay. Bolster, Braze, Buttress, Ragini. Very good for show up. Correct. Let's move to slide number two. That's all for today. Only these many words. Because as I told you, the articles are very factual. But they are very important. They can be asked as a reading comprehension. I will be taking the same topic today and tomorrow again. As I had told you. One from the Hindu, one from the Guardian. So, archaic is very old-fashioned. Okay? Uh, so, kya mein isko banal ka related word maan sakti hu? Banal as a related, not an exact synonym though, a related word to archaic. Okay? Ancient bowl sector, relic bowl sector, conventional, yes. Yeah, banal, Shriya, that's exactly what I wanted to ask. Yes, 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 of course, banal. And then there was another word I had taught you yesterday as a synonym to banal. What was that? 
with the started with a p that started with a p a synonym to banal do you remember that word everyone Let me see who recalls it. Platitudinal. Yes. Yes, Sanya. That was platitudinal. Yes. Cliché, ancient. Platitudinal. Exactly. Overused. That was platitudinal. Correct. Very good. All right. So, our take is old-fashioned, uh, not modern, not contemporary, ancient. So, prisons are run on archaic methods. Old-fashioned, old not renewed, not modern is our cake. Cohort, we've done this word multiple times in the past. A small, close knit group of people who have a common motive or common thought process, that's a cohort. So, a cohort of civil servants patiently drafting legislation, a group, close knit group of people, and their shared interest was to draft the legislation. So, this group of people, they have a shared interest, a common agenda. That's a cohort. Many, many synonyms to it. Yes, Shivani, of course. Yes. Comrade. Yes. Cautery. Yes. Contingent. Cohort. Mass. Absolutely. Absolutely. All are synonyms. Antiquated uh, for our cake. Yes, Bumika. That's correct. Okay. Uh, adherent for... You know, Bumika, adherent... As synonym to cohort is less effective, uh, less appropriate. It would be more appropriate to a partisan one. Okay. Obsolete, old-fashioned, bygone, outmoded. All, yes, Ragini, all are synonyms to RK. Cohort, but she, Hindi mein sab jati shahi. Cohort ka matlab hota hai group of people. Jin ke paas ek common agenda hota hai kisi cheez ke liye kaam karne ka. So, aap, mere paas students ka ek cohort hai, jinko kya clear karna hai. What so much may a small a group of people, not necessarily small, a group of people just get common agenda. All right. Companion both are correct. So that's all for vocabulary. Till this is like to come a screenshot here. Let's start with the IPCC report. So a few months back we saw the gas glow meet. And a few years back, we saw the COP26 forming and discussing over the net zero emission. Okay. So, there's a new report, the IPCC report, that's the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. And the report came out, which wasn't very impressive. Okay. When I talk about the report, I'm going to be talking about net zero. I'm going to be talking about 1.5 degrees Celsius of a benchmark. And what is net zero? I wouldn't certainly talk about what happened in the gas glow meet. I'll also talk about our target for the net zero emission and our target for 2030 and 2070 as well. I'll be talking about that because all of these are related with the IPCC report. So let's understand that. Let's understand the implication of that. And tomorrow, I'm going to bring an article on the same topic from The Guardian where I'll be framing questions because that's an inference-based passage. This is more of a factual one. So let's start reading that. So amidst the global turmoil, of course we know what turmoil is happening throughout the globe. It's the uh, Russia and the Ukraine war. The IPCC, the largest international consortium for scientists analyzing and reviewing the evidence on the present and future man-made impacts on the climate change. You know that in Gasglau, through the COP26 meets, we have been trying to control the global carbon emission, the greenhouse emission, so that our impact on climate is negligible. That's the idea of the COP26 meets that we have. Yes, now all that impact on the climate change is obviously because of our man-made industries, man-made machinery and multiple things. Yes, so everybody including the developed and the developing nations have been targeting to reduce this emission. But this report by the world's largest consortium of scientists working and analyzing the climate change happening through the man-made products and impacts, they had a message that was predictably dire. They did not have a very good sight. They predicted something really, really 
uh, it was dire and it was severe and it needed urgent attention of all of us. Yes? Okay. A minute. I don't think it's buffering, Ragini Bache. Could you please confirm is it buffering in the app? Just a minute, guys. Please give me a second. I don't know what's wrong with the buffering. Okay. The world faces unavoidable multiple climate hazards over the next two decades with global warming of 1.5 degrees Celsius. Why 1.5 degrees Celsius? What's the impact of it? What happens if the increase in temperature is more than 1.5 degrees? And what happens if the increase in the world global temperature is lesser than 1.5 degrees? Who's going to answer that by the time I fix the buffering? Okay. Why 1.5 degrees? What happens if the increment in the temperature is more than 1.5 degrees? Or if the increment in the temperature in the world uh, temperature is lesser than 1.5 degrees? What happens after that? Guys, once and for all, I'm asking you not to indulge into any other kind of conversation that is beyond what we're discussing right now. It's difficult for me to locate important messages sent to me. The heat wave, yes. Exactly. Melting of glaciers, yes. Correct. Global warming, exactly. So more than 1.5 degree will bring about irrevocable changes in the environment. And that's why exactly we target at lesser than 1.5 degree the increase in the temperature that has to be not zero but net zero. I'll explain that later on. Even temporarily exceeding this warming level would be additional severe impacts. So 1.5 degree se zada nahi hona chahiye. But even if it's a temporary increase, it will make the an impact in the environment so bad that it's actually irrevocable. Some of which will be irreversible. The report points out that the rise in weather and climate extremes has led to some irreversible impact as natural human systems are pushed beyond their ability to adapt. You know, humans are known for adaptability. We are the ones that <coughs> we've been adapting to so many changes. But if this continues, the adaptability will be difficult for us. I, we would not be able to survive that. Alluding to the conference of the parties, that is the COP26 in Gaslau, in November 21, the report knows that most of the targets that the countries have set for themselves are too far in the future. Let's take the example of our country. 2070 ka target in net zero emission ka. Far, it's actually too far for us to make any meaningful impact in reducing the climate change or curbing the climate change. And then you look at other countries. So the target they have set for themselves is only a pacifying market. They have to do something. But it's too far actually. India will achieve net zero latest by 2070. In the mean, 50% dependency on renewable sources of energy. That's our target for 2030 and 2070 is net zero emission. What is net zero emission? What do you think that is without googling that? What is net zero emission? Yes, 2050, 2060, exactly, Samar. Now, Samar. If a developed nation 2050 or 2060 ka target, so still buffering? Oh no, I don't know what's wrong. No, it isn't. No. Okay. So, what is net zero emission? Quickly, everyone. Zero emission. No emission of carbon. No, that's not zero emission. No. Why nature absorb karne ki jab equivalent hoga? Production zero nahi ho sakta. Lekin itna produce karo ki nature usko neutralize kar de. That is net zero. So the amount of greenhouse gases emission happens, the nature is able to take it in.
Let me just do a speed test, but I don't know what's wrong. Please give me a second. Please give me a second. I don't know what's wrong. Let me just do a speed test. Please give me a second. I'm doing a speed test. Please give me one second, guys. My speed looks absolutely fine. Koshish karte bache, abhi, abhi cheek chal raha hai. Okay? All right, so net zero is jitna aap produce karte ho, the nature is able to absorb it again. That is net zero. Zero is not net zero. There's a difference. Zero is not producing nahi kar ho. Net zero is produce kar ho, but the nature is able to take it again. Okay? All right. So, here we go. Okay, so now, however, none of this can help the 1.5 mark for being breached. That is, our targets of 2070, 2030, 2060 for China and 2050 for USA, none of it is actually going to help us stick to the 1.5 mark. That is, it's very likely that in the next few years, this mark will be breached. And when it happens, the change on the, the impact of the climate will be irrevocable. A major point of emphasis of the report, particularly for South Asia, is the trend in the wet bulb temperature. Wet bulb temperature, so uh, physically, be it test you, uh, it's, it's like a beaker with a bulb like bottom. Okay, and uh, the scientists they wrap a wet cloth, a wick around the tube, and then they see condensation kitna quickly. Hota hai. Okay? But apart from that, in layman term, mein, a wet bulb temperature is basically a temperature usually around 35 degrees. Because this temperature, ke baad, degree Celsius, ke baad, it's difficult for a person to go out and work in the open under the sun. Even if you remain in a warm country like India, a warm state like Rajasthan, 35 degrees plus, it's difficult for a person to go out and work. So, the wet index of the impact of heat and humidity combined and its effect on health is going to be bad. That temperature that goes beyond 55 degree Celsius. Lucknow and Patna, according to one of the several studies cited in the report, were among the cities predicted to reach the wet bulb temperatures of 35 degrees if emissions continue to rise. So, those cities, which were actually so warm, nahi hote the, they have started becoming warmer. They will reach the dead bulb temperature very, very soon. And Bhubaneswar, Chennai, Mumbai, Indore, Ahmedabad are of reaching wet bulb temperature of 32 to 34 with continued emission. Chennai, you specifically know how warm and humid Chennai is despite that being very close to the coast. It usually should not have happened with such a coastal city. Thus, this, this will have consequences such a rise in heat waves linked death. Rajasthan has a warning of heat waves appearing in Rajasthan in the month of March. Imagine what's going to happen in the month of May and June. Right? So, heat waves linked death can happen if the uh, temperature increases, the wet bulb temperature increases 32 to 34 degrees and the productivity will also reduce. Yes? All right. Okay. So, global sea levels will likely rise to this century if governments meet the current emission cutting. Pledges, okay? But with higher emission, if the ice sheets collapse more quickly than expected, that is, the glaciers melting faster, the sea levels will rise and that's going to be happening by 2150. That will rise by 2 meters, which will have a humongous impact on our lives. India is one of the most vulnerable countries in terms of the population that will be affected by the sea level rise. Because our itna part coastal areas may covered hota hai. Itna part coastal areas may cover hota hai. I don't know why it's buffering. My internet is absolutely fine. I think YouTube's playing games. Let's just continue with that, okay? So, all right. So by the middle of the century, around 35 million of its people could face annual coastal flooding. We've seen that happening in Kerala. We saw that last monsoon. With 45 million, 50 million at risk by the end of this century, if emissions are 
they continue to be high. Experience has shown that partisan economic calculations trump climate change. It has no hinting to USA. So experience has shown that partisan economic calculation trump climate considerations, but India must shore up its adaptation measures and urgently move to secure the future of its many vulnerable who have the most to lose. So it says your economic calculation that we will not be able to achieve it by 2070, it's actually partisan and our country will be the most impacted if the glaciers melt, if the ice sheets melt. Thus, we need to make a target that's actually sooner than later maybe. Okay, so that is uh, the idea of the passage. What do you think is the tone everyone? What is the tone, everybody? Tone of the author? Very quickly, tone. Partisan economic calculation hota, hum apne benefit ko dekhe calculate karenge. Hum apne country ke benefit ko dekhe calculate karenge. Biased calculation. Mene bataya tha abhi vapo wet bulb temperature kya hota hai, phir se batati hoon. Wet bulb temperature hota hai. Uh, humidity or heat jab ek city mein itni zyada ho jati hai calculation ka method bhi bataungi but itni zyada ho jati hai ki wo 34 degrees cross kar jati hai 35 degrees cross kar jati hai aur us case mein ek person ke liye bahar under the sun kaam karna bahut difficult ho jata hai wo heat waves cause karti hai absolutely concerning yes that's absolutely concerning okay all right so uh, concerning certainly now let's move to the next article everyone that's from the text and context a lot of you might not have read that article. So here it is. Video team, could you please block all the people who are continuously talking unnecessarily without any relevance with the articles that we're discussing? Here we go with the second article. Building the most exhaustive family tree. You, I'm sure, must have made family trees when you were in schools, younger, in the younger classes with your grandfather and your father and that's how the tree was made. It looks more like an ice cream though. But I I wanted to draw a tree. So you must have done that. Okay, so aapka origination kahan se hua and then you make a tree and then your forefathers and your father and your brothers and everyone else. Okay. Where did Indians originate from? Who are our ancestors? Let me see if you know the answer. Alarming was a Shahi, bilkul. Concerning or alarming, don't know. Where did we originate from? Who are our ancestors? Uh, are we Aryans? Are we pure Aryans? Where did we originate from? What do you think? No, what do you have, what have you studied? Aryans? Okay. What's Violet's question? Mixed breed, mixed Aryans, Indus, Iran. Okay, so there's a lot of study behind that, okay. Homo sapiens to hum sab hai bache. <laughs> but we are a mix actually. Audience. Africans. Yes. Yes. Specifically, uh, it's believed that a lot of Africans had moved uh, down south our country. And thus, the uh, Aryans had moved up north, down south, the Africans and then Dravidians. So we are a mixture actually. I'll be sharing a podcast with you after this class ends in the Law, Doubt and Discussion Telegram group that we have. Anybody who's not a part of the group, I would expect you to scroll down under my video in the description section. There's a link mentioned. You have to join that. I'll share a podcast with you, a very insightful podcast that will take you back to our ancestry. I would want you to listen to that carefully. Uh, it's a half an hour podcast, but I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun. Getting back to this idea... A family tree is actually needed to know because our ancestry is so debatable and the podcast in itself says that it's pretty debatable. 
this exhaustive family tree that genomics has built will help us understand a lot of demographic ancestry. Yes? Alright, so. Alright, correct. Now let's move on. So, a recent study constructs a genealogy of all humans from 27 million fragments of ancestral genomes. 27 million fragments. Linking them, making a family tree through which you can identify what is your ancestry out of everybody else in the whole wide world. A new study by researchers from the Oxford has enabled us to see a family tree for the entire human race. Very impressive. These family trees are constructed by taking from the human genomic dome and constructing a tree. So they had taken detail of each chromosome out of 27 million fragments that were available. And video team, ya to dekho ye patna aur haridwar aur banaras ki ladai abhi band karo. Nahi to abhi block karwaungi sabko. Mujhe ek minute lagega. It's extremely distracting. According to the study, ancient genomes can be integrated into these trees to give in data. Class end kar rahe bache. Kal karenge continue. Thik hai? Kal karte hai continue. Thik hai? I don't know for some reason a constant buffer ho raha hai. My internet is absolutely fine. I'm just sharing today's Hindu and Indian Express in my background. Have a look at what's important and what's not. You guys have to understand that this is not a political class. You cannot be arguing over unnecessary things. Please focus on what I'm about to teach. If you constantly chat amongst yourselves, I'm unable to look at important questions. This is not the right place to do that. Please look at the Hindu and Indian Express today and then we'll end the class. Here it is. So, the first article from today's Hindu and Indian Express Lines and Rolls. Yes, it's a very important one, a little political, but you need to know the lines and the rules of the and the functions of the governor. I think you need to read that in detail. Second article, losing steam. Ah, oh, yes, of course. It's actually a, a site of relief that we have articles in the editorial today beyond Russia and Ukraine. Russia, because Ukraine is fighting for its life. I'm not taking sides though. But these yeah, articles are really, please just go read Yes, yes, yes. Supremely interesting. It's a big article. Hai. I think I should take this article tomorrow. It's a very article. Hai. Brilliant. Let's read it in detail. Mein Okay? Aapko bahut maza aega isko padke. A negation of the individual and collective moral decay. Bahut saare important news hai. Bachche aaj newspaper mein. Aapko bahut kuch padna zaruri hai. Bahut kuch important aaj newspaper mein. Please this article ko detail mein padho. I'll have to actually handpick what to discuss and what not to. It's very very important. Next page, let's see editorial. You can skim this. 
also food shares the alarming rise of food shares skim theek hai ye aapko pata hoga isko skim kar lijiye let's move to the text and context everyone तो देखो ये कल एक आर्टिकल और लूंगी सिमिलरली इधर ये वाला लूंगी नहीं तो इधर गार्डियन का लूंगी आई शेयर द पॉडकास्ट एज वेल एज द गार्डियन लिंक इन द टेलीग्राम ग्रुप इसको प्लीज डिटेल में पढ़ लेना ओनली स्कीम ठीक है डॉक्टर ऑफ रूरल इंडिया बिल्कुल स्कीम करके पढ़ लेना एंड देन यूव गॉट रूल्स ऑफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट छोड़ देना इसको Let's come to the Indian Express. Yes, yes, Ishan. Sir, vocabulary. Okay. I will still take the Guardian article. All right. Okay. आगे देखते हैं. Why the war treaties? Written in the fifth century BC can explain the Ukraine conflict. I think you should be reading this. The post-pandemic crisis in schooling, higher, बहुत 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 important है. Covid and school का relationship बिल्कुल editorial बन के आ सकता है exam में. बहुत detail में पढ़ना है इसको. Nothing is untouched by money in Gehraiya. What? <laughs> Don't read this. Why Rajasthan government's decision to return to old pension scheme? Leave this. The growing scars in anti-microbial resistance. बहुत जरूरी है. Killing of the Indian archive. Oh, skim through it. The those calling for a boycott of vodka to show support of Ukraine. Pal le na. Okay. And uh, oh yes. So the proposed CEO of Air India. He. I was not trying to buy any of this. Ye important hai. Isko pal le na. आपको पता होगा आई एम श्योर अबाउट द एयर इंडिया रिजेक्शन दैट्स ऑल ठीक है ओके यस सो दैट्स ऑल फाइनिंग अप द क्लास टुडे एवरीवन वन है एक मिनट कंटिन्यू करते हैं इस आर्टिकल के साथ ठीक है इट वाज नेसेसरी टू ब्रिंग यू बैक ऑन ट्रैक सो आर्टिकल क्या डिस्कस कर रहा था जस्ट योर बिट कंटिन्यू करते हैं विदार आर्टिकल छुटे ठीक है योर वी आर So it says they are going to make a family tree, and according to the study, the ancient genomes can be integrated into these trees to give data from which one can infer historical details of demography. That is, when the genome is actually arranged in a family tree, we can know about our demography and the movement of people from one locality to the other, one country, one continent to the other, which will give us. A historical account of our ancestry. It takes into account more than three thousand five hundred high-quality and ancient genomes from more than two fifteen different human populations. So, because it is so diverse, it's actually now easy for us to find out what our sequencing was about. All right. You could stick to only Hindu, Kushi. That would be fine. Without cutting-edge technologies for isolating, identifying, and sequencing genome on archaic resources and sophisticated computer simulation methods of the 21st century science, such a feat would have been impossible. So the author actually praises the modern technology here because with the without the help of the modern technology, this whole sequencing would have been impossible for us to do. Among the existing methods of building up a genealogy of humans or any other organism. whose genome data exists for that factor the one involving trees appears to be more accurate so if any kind of a gene exists in the world making a tree and giving it a place in a tree makes absolute sense 
We already have such trees that have combined thousands of genomes and traits. Now, the idea is that there is no such tree in the Of course, scientists would have made such a tree, but this one is different from the others. Why? According to this study, ancient genomes can be integrated into these trees to give data from which one can infer historical details of demography. So the trees were made. These trees specifically will help you address the demographical movement of people. And that's why this tree becomes even more important. The present study, the latest in this line, takes into account more than 3,500 repetition of the data. Now, while you're reading this passage, should you be reading this repetition of data or should you be skipping that? Should you be reading this data or should you be skipping that? This kind of a data because it's a repetition of something already mentioned. Absolutely skip. Absolutely skip. Yes. You skip that data. Okay. A perspective article in the same issue of the science gives an easy to read gist of the paper. So this tree will give you information of a demography and this tree is an easier one to comprehend for any scientist. Combining data sets that have been built up independently poses a huge challenge. The author referred to discrepancies between cohorts due to errors. Cohorts is group of people, right? So, there are errors and discrepancies in the cohorts, differing sequencing techniques and the possessing of variants, which can lead to a lot of noise that can drown out the signal. Kya noise, kya signal? I'll explain that again. Signals given to us by our genetic conditions, by our mutations, by our chromosomes. Yes, these signals that will tell scientists about our movement, about our ancestry. But there is a lot of chaos and a lot of discrepancy in the data that can act like a noise which can restrict a scientist from reading that signal of our ancestry, of our movement. Understood the signal and the noise everyone? Yes, got that everybody? So, noise is the discrepancy. Signal is our chromosomes, our genes giving the signals, okay, this is where people move from. This is what we Indians are made up of. However, they took a smart building up of this tree, the largest one built up so far, and reproduced several well-known demographic results that have been given by previous methods, such as using mitochondrial DNA and y chromosome analysis. So, very appreciative about this tree. It's the biggest one, the most detailed one. They reiterate the out-of-Africa emergence result for one thing. So, Africa ke bar emergence ho sakta hai, the perspective article also outlines some of the limitations of the tree method, namely that there is an uncertainty in the evolutionary parameters and the errors in reading ancient genomes. So the, this tree also, apart from helping people understand the demography and the movement, it also helps people understand the limitations a tree method would be dependent on. So it points out the limitations as well. A win-win for this tree methodology from both the ends. So, while this particular study has focused on human genealogy, the author points out that this can be used to trace out the ancestry of any species for which genomic data exists. Kisi bhi species ke liye, if the data exists, this tree will help you identify the ancestry of that gene. It is that effective as a study. Okay? Signal noise nahi aaya? Fir se samjhati I'll explain again. I'll explain that again. Dekho. Aapke chromosome. Scientists. Ya aapki genes. Scientists ko hint deti hai. Aapke ancestry ke baare mein. Lekin. Ye jo hints deti hai. Ye hints. Kabhi kabhi dab jate hai. Kabhi kabhi chup jate hai. Bohut saare data ki discrepancies mein. Kyunki humare paas unka collection itna evident nahi hai genes ka aur mutations ka aur chromosomes ka ki ye jo discrepancies hai aur errors hai in recording them. Ye errors scientists ko study karne mein hamper karte hai. Ye errors ho gaya noise. 
जो साइंटिस्ट्स को रोकते हैं किसी भी सिग्नल को पकड़ने में सिग्नल वो जो क्रोमोसोम्स और जीन हमें हिंट देते हैं हमारी एंसेस्ट्री पता करने के बारे में साइंटिस्ट उनको ओवरलुक कर जाते हैं बिकॉज देर अ लॉट ऑफ नॉइज मेड बाई द डिस्क्रिपेंसी एंड दस कॉन्टेट एवरीबडी कॉन्टेट यस ओके सो इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू अप्रिशिएट दैट सच एन एनालिसिस the new tree that is made would not have been possible in the 20th century with the human genome not been sequenced so sequencing of genome is necessary because if this was not sequenced the tree would not have been possible plus apart from the sequencing of the genome the modern technology for isolating each genome is developed the sophisticated computer simulation methods is also an important one because without all these it was impossible for us to make this new tree that is these were the problems faced by the uh, mechanism and these were the solutions given by them so ultimately the building of this huge genealogy is a feat of 21st century science and it brings together evolutionary biologist repository of information because repository to hai but usse jab tak aap kuch construct nahi karoge this repository is useless so this tree helps us construct data out of the repository of information stimulation experts and high power computing data science to yield hither to unimagined results it's that effective the tone of the author everyone the efficiency of data makes noise yes exactly dear yeah. okay so what do you think is the uh, ashu i would like to ask you a question do you think every passage in the examination would come based on law if not then you have to read from a variety of sources this is exactly what we are doing here it's praiseworthy bachche it's not analytical sorry it's praiseworthy the analysis is done only and only to point out praises all all praises for this new tree that they had made yes it's not analytical it's praiseworthy the entire analysis is done to praise the science here okay praiseworthy all right guys so if you targeting uh yes praiseworthy okay And there's a difference between informative and expository tone of the passage. Uh, while it no, you would actually see there is a difference. But from the perspective of tone of the passage, it's very, very, very difficult to differentiate between them. So both the options usually would not be given to you together in one option. Okay. All right. Now one more thing before I wind up the class. Twelve thirty today. My second class. on the bba youtube channel of vijus exam prep on micro presentation if you're targeting eslat the best law entrance examination or if you're sitting for any bba entrance examination make sure you watch this class make sure you watch yesterday's recorded class and today's class as well i'll be taking the second class today at 12:30 on the micro presentation that is all for today everyone i shall see you again tomorrow and i am and i just answered that shreya i just answered that Okay thank you everyone have a very very good day and god bless all of you